Princess Lala Salma has not been seen in public since October 2017, and there has been growing speculation that King Mohammed VI has divorced her. The 40-year-old's whereabouts is unknown, but discussing the matter is said to be taboo in the North African country. Last night, British officials said they had no idea if Harry and Meghan would ask after her in spite of their mission to promote gender equality. Lala Salma, who is the mother of Crown Prince Maile Hassan, 15, and his sister Princess Lala Khadija, 11, is also a prominent supporter of women's rights. The princess consort was the first wife of a Moroccan monarch to be publicly acknowledged and given a royal title when she and the king were married in 2002. Harry, 34, and seven months pregnant Meghan, 37, arrived in Casablanca last night for the start of a four-day visit to the country. They were greeted by the crown prince, who is reputed to be one of the world's richest teenagers. Aides last night said the royal visit had been extended by a night in order for Harry and Meghan to meet the king tomorrow. A Kensington Palace spokeswoman said, their royal highnesses are very much looking forward to the visit and are grateful to their hosts and the British Embassy for arranging such an interesting program. They are particularly pleased they will have the opportunity to meet so many young Moroccans. The visit, which will focus on women's empowerment, social entrepreneurship and girls' education, has been arranged as part of a charm offensive to help Britain improve trade with Morocco and other parts of Africa. Britain's ambassador Thomas Riley said, their royal highnesses will be shown firsthand the transformational impact of community-based programs and Morocco's changing social attitudes towards women. There is more to do in this arena, but it is clear that attitudes are changing fast, as demonstrated by the influential role women are increasingly playing in Morocco's sporting, social, political, commercial and cultural scenes. Harry and Meghan have been accompanied by nine staff on the trip. A doctor has not traveled with them, but aides said medical support was on standby. This is the couple's third official overseas trip, following visits to Dublin and a tour of Australia, New Zealand and the South Pacific last year.